Is my wig okay? I can't tell. <laughs> I never wear wigs, so hopefully it's okay. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley, and I'm going to tell you why you need to start a YouTube channel. There's lots of reasons. I'm just gonna give you five off the top of my head before I even get into the video to keep you here. You get free wigs. You get this cool ass thing. You get paid to do what you love, if you love it. You get to work from home. That's where I am, I'm home. And you don't have to deal with shitty ass coworkers. Okay, so I'm standing, I'm not used to that. So if I'm moving around a lot, it's because I have ADD and that's not like a joke. I've literally been diagnosed and was on medication for it, so. <laughs> Anyways, so there's lots of reasons why you need to start a YouTube channel. Yes, you can start one today. It's gonna be a little harder to get into it than it was years ago, but you can still do it, do it. It's not as hard as you think it is. It's literally starting a channel, creating content, editing content, posting content, and doing that all over again. The hard part is doing it all over again. You're gonna post a video, you're gonna get 17 views, and you're gonna do that for five months, and you're gonna get fed up, but on the fifth month, you're gonna get 200 views and then the seventh month you're gonna get 900 views and on the first year you're gonna get a thousand views and on the second year BAM 20,000 views you don't know how it's gonna go you could get 20,000 views in one week you could get it in one year you can get it in four years all I know is that when you start your journey you need to know that it's a journey and you need to continue it because if you do you will succeed that's it that's all there is to it if you do it you're gonna succeed you just gotta work hard and be patient. If not, you're gonna be that bitch from your high school who posts fucking YouTube videos for four months and then disappears. You know why she disappeared? Because she got fed up of getting 17 views. She was over it. She didn't start it for the right reason. She thought she was gonna get a check day one and she realized, mm -mm, I'm not getting paid for this. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. Anyway, so here are the reasons why you need to start. Sorry, I went off on a ramble. Okay, number one, the best part, <sighs> there's so many good reasons because it's a great job. You get to work from home and you get to work on your own hours. You get to wake up and decide what you want to do. Do you want to binge Pretty Little Liars for the third time in your life? Do you want to cook spaghetti? Do you want to make some content? Do you want to edit your content? Do you want to plan your content? Do you literally wake up and decide what to do? It's really fucking cool. I didn't film all day yesterday. I binged Pretty Little Liars and ate spaghetti. Today, I binged Pretty Little Liars and ate spaghetti until two and then I put my wig on and I got in front of my camera. This is my fourth video that I filmed today. But that means I don't have to work for another week. Well, I could edit, but yeah. I'm saying this to say that you can literally wake up and decide what you wanna do. If you're depressed, take a day off. The problem is when you slip into depression for four months and then you don't wanna make content, it gets a little difficult. But we'll get there, we'll get there in another video. You can literally do what you wanna do when you wanna do it. And that is reason number one that you need to start a channel. Reason number two is that you get paid to do what you love, and this is me assuming that you love what you do. Because I was making YouTube videos for 10 years on different channels for fun. Never monetized them, never learned about ads, never did anything, just made content, got no fucking views, and just made a bunch of channels. And why did I do it? I did it for fun because I fucking love YouTube. So when I made a real channel in 2017 and I decided to actually start a real channel, make a banner, make an intro, have a plan, it worked. Why? Because I loved it. And what did it do? It got me this. When you love what you do and you put passion into it, there's literally no other ending. You're gonna succeed. And the point is, you literally get paid to do what you love. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was working at Staples for five years. I was working at Staples for five years. I was working at Rogers, which is like a cell phone company. It's like T-Mobile, Verizon. I was working at Rogers for two years and I fucking hated my life. I would cuss out customers. I would show up late. I would not show up. I'd call them sick three times a week. Like, I, I was a bad employee. I'm so sorry. I was a bad employee because I hated my job. I hated it. And that gives you appreciation for things that you love, like this. When you're just having fun, making a food vlog, doing your makeup, telling a story, talking about astrology, you're having fun and you're getting paid to do it. Reason number three is that you get free shit. Listen, did I pay for this wig? No. Do you see this part? Impeccable. Minus the way that I laid it because I don't know how to do wigs. I never did wigs until I got them for free. But do you see this wig? 100% human hair from Medulla Hair Co. 
Do you see this gold chain? <laughs> this sounds like I'm showing off, but I'm not. I'm just trying to convince you. Do you see these earrings? These are real gold. Anna Luisa jewelry. Do you wanna know how much I paid for these? Nothing, I got paid to receive them. <laughs> Need I say more? You get free shit, and not only do you get free shit, you get paid to get free shit. What? Do you see this? Let me show you. How do I show you? Hold on. Ignore the messy background. It's filming day. Do you see these two microphones right here for my podcast equipment? Do you want to know how much I paid for those? Zero fucking dollars. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. And this is not me showing off. This is me saying that this could be you. It could be you. It could be you. So why isn't it? Let me show you something. If this, if this isn't convinced you, I'll show you what else I got for free. This amongst other things. I understand it's a Mickey. It's not the huge ass $70 bottle. It's a Mickey. This is $40. This is 30 something dollars. I've never bought Hennessy in my life. You know why? Because this shit's overpriced. I'd rather spend $20 on some rum and drink that. Do I love Henny? Yes. I love it at the club when people buy it for me. Do I love paying for it? No, so I don't. Did I pay for this? No, because YouTube granted me the opportunity to become part of a program in Toronto and part of the welcome package happened to be a bottle of Henny. Would I have gotten accepted into that if it wasn't for YouTube? Probably not. So that's a segue into the next point, number four, which is YouTube gives you access to opportunities that you wouldn't have had if it wasn't for your platform, your content, your personality, your YouTube channel. So that bottle of Henny, I only got it because I got accepted to this program called House, which is it's like a creative program for black females in Toronto. They have like this one dedicated program to us, right? I got accepted into it because of my YouTube channel. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have been accepted because I didn't really have anything going other than like, oh my God, I fucking worked a copy and print center machine for five years. Like that's not gonna get me accepted. I'm not looking down on that job, but what I'm saying is it opens doors for you. So maybe you're sick of YouTube and you think, I wanna get into this, I wanna network, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. When you're in this industry, people look at you because you've got numbers. As unfortunate as that sounds, if you got a following, it, there's a lot that comes with that. Another opportunity I got because of my YouTube channel, I wrote a book. Not just I wrote a book, it's in Target, in stores nationwide, it's in Indigo in Canada, it's in freaking, Barnes and Nobles, it's in Walmart, it's on Amazon. It is everywhere you can find books. I have a box of 50 of these in my room right now that I didn't pay for, that I get paid for. Because YouTube gave me an opportunity to be seen by a publishing agency. This publishing agency reached out to me because they liked my content, they liked my personality, and they said, hey, do you want to write a book with us? And I said, <laughs> yeah, and then it happened and now look at where we are. I have it on my vision board I wanted my book in indigo. Where is it? It's in indigo. This happened because of the platform that I built through My personality on YouTube So reason number five YouTube allows you to pursue other dreams When you have a platform depending on what your platform is, let's say you start a thrifting channel Oh now you can start selling the items that people see in your videos on Depop or maybe you can use the money to learn how to sew and start thrift flipping and selling those. Oh, you do beauty videos? Why don't you start a wig company? People that watch your videos, love hair, love beauty, they'll buy wigs, why not from their favorite YouTuber? Oh, you have an astrology channel? Why don't you start selling Zodiac apparel? <laughs> Zodiacayman.com. Make some t-shirts, make some hats, get some jewelry, sell it, start a business. If I started Zodiac Haven without my channel, it would have taken me years years to get some good sales probably but because of my channel i was able to leverage my audience and create a community for my website number six it's fun it is so fun it is annoying and tiring and the editing is fucking it fucking sucks but is it better than working at staples yes is it better than working in a cubicle yes is it better than a lot of jobs that my friends do when I say better, I don't mean I'm better than them. I just mean it's more fun. It's more fun. And some of my friends get paid more than me. I'm okay with that because I love what I do and it's fun and I enjoy it and it grows every year. You're never just stagnant. You're always growing 
unless you have a scandal and you're Laura Lee or fucking Tana Mojo, then maybe you might go down a little bit. But other than that, don't be problematic and all you will do is grow. Number seven, you get to be yourself, which is really cool. Unless you like pretending to be someone else and you could do that. I think I did that for the first like five months of my YouTube channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you my top 10 must have drugstore items. But being yourself, like, Imagine getting paid to be yourself. Imagine getting paid to do things you're doing regularly. I sit down, I do my makeup, and I film it, and I'm getting paid. I could be sitting down and doing my makeup and just leaving the house, making zero dollars, but I'm getting paid. That's a beautiful thing. Mind you, you can't just like, the whole time and expect views, like you gotta, have a personality or be funny or be relatable, but I'm sure everyone can find that within themselves and do it. I don't know what fucking number I'm on, but um, all I can say is that if you can get paid to do the things you're already doing and do the things that you love and be yourself and be at home and choose your schedule and get free shit, why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? Like, there's hair in my face and it's driving me crazy. Why wouldn't you do it? I just, I just really wanna convince you one more time. I think the free stuff and the brand deals are the best part. Imagine this, you get paid $2,000 for a 30 second or two minute clip of your life. I'm not saying that's why I always get paid. <laughs> it's not, sometimes I get paid less than that. But that's what you can get to. You can get to $4,000 for a one minute clip of your life. One minute clip of your life. One minute clip of your life, $4,000. People are getting paid that. Imagine wanting something and just saying, oh, they sell those. Why don't I hit them up and ask if they wanna collaborate? Hi, Zaffle, can I have $300 worth of clothing plus $500 cash? And they say yes, and you get $300 worth of clothing, and you need $500 cash. I haven't worked with Zaffle in years, so the last time I worked with Zaffle, I was underpaid because I didn't know my shit, so I got paid 50 bucks. And then I found out people were getting paid a thousand, and I was like, oh. that's another video. Don't let people take advantage of you as a creator. But anyways, you want to get your teeth whitened? Oh, hi, White with Style. Do you want to collaborate? You want to get a microphone for your podcast? Oh, hi, blank company. Do you want to collaborate? It's that simple. It's that fucking simple. Start a YouTube channel. Start it. Start your YouTube channel. Create your content. If you need advice and you have questions, leave your questions down below. How do you make money? How do you find brands to work with? How do you get brand deals? How do you start an e-commerce website? How do you start your channel? How do you edit? How do you make a thumbnail? How do you get viewed on YouTube? There are hundreds and hundreds of questions you guys could ask me, so if you are interested in that, let me know down below and I'll answer whatever I can for you. I'm not stingy with information. I'm not gatekeeping YouTube knowledge because at the end of the day, there's room for us all on this platform. There really is. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat some more spaghetti and take my wig off because it's giving me a headache. And then I'm gonna watch some Pretty Little Liars and just have the same day all over again because I can. And Again, I don't want to come off as this bragging or boasting or like, look at my life, it's perfect. It's Cause it's not, like sometimes I'm fucking depressed. Sometimes my pay is 70% less than what I think it's gonna be. And I'm just like, how am I gonna pay my rent? Sometimes I'm financially abundant in crazy amounts of ways. And I'm like, oh my God, like I can buy this, I can buy that. It's, it's like a fucking roller coaster. It's hard, it's a lot of work. I hate editing. My family pretty much kicked me out for like not pursuing my education further and deciding to do YouTube full time. Like there's been a lot of shit that's gone down since I've started this journey. Do I regret it? No. Do I love it? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. But it, it's hard. I spent all last week crying because I was like, this is really what I want to do with my life. And then I had like a whole epiphany and I realized it is and that's what made me make this video. So I don't want you to think that I'm like trying to make it seem like it's the fucking dream of a lifetime because Yes, it is, but it also comes with its negatives, which every single job does. You're gonna hate something about what you do, no matter what you do. Ariana Grande hates part of her job, I'm sure. Everybody fucking hates part of their job. But you gotta choose the problems you're willing to deal with. You gotta choose the things you're willing to hate because if it comes with what you love, it's worth it, so do it. 
do it, okay? Go start your channel. Are you gonna start it? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to open a new tab, listen to me talk, go to youtube.com, slash Ashley Flores TV, hit subscribe. After that, top right corner, click on the little icon, press sign in, sign up, whatever the fuck it says. And I want you to write your email and your password, start an account, press create channel, and upload your first YouTube video. Oh, you don't have a camera? Use your phone. Oh, you don't have an editing software? Use your phone's app editing software. Oh, I don't have money to... iMovie's free. Window Movie Maker is free. Oh, I need a cute set. Where's mine? I have a blank wall in front of me. Behind me. Oh, my quality is bad. Who cares? People use webcams. People use webcams. Stop making excuses and go start your channel. That's it. Goodbye.